Right, so now still a lot of questions about what led to his collapse and his continued treatment now in a Cincinnati hospital. Kirsten Joyce is joined by head cardiologist for the Raiders, Dr. Alfred Danilian, to talk more about what exactly happened on the field last night. Kirsten? Thank you very much, Denise. Well, we understand, doctor, thank you so much for your time today. We do appreciate your time. Uh, that Hamlin suffered likely blunt trauma to the chest. We understand it is very rare. How rare? And can you explain what happens during such a medical episode? Yeah. Um, thank you for having me, firstly. Um, I think it's important for us to recognize that we really don't know the exact cause of the yes. sudden cardiac arrest at this time. Um, one of the terms that's been thrown out there is commodia cortis, as you yes. alluded to, uh, trauma to the chest as a potential etiology of his cardiac arrest. And that's something that everybody wants to know at this point. And so commodia cortis is a type of sudden cardiac arrest that occurs due to blunt trauma over the chest wall due to basically a spherical hard object usually that hits the chest mm -hmm. at an exact time that places the patient or the person at high risk of developing this life-threatening arrhythmia. It usually happens in sports, mm -hmm. um, usually, uh, again, due to an object that's hard, such as a hockey puck, a baseball most commonly. Um, it can happen in lacrosse balls. Um, but also when you have more bodily physical activity sports, such as football or rugby. And it's just basically um, that trauma that occurs to the chest that leads to this life-threatening arrhythmia called ventricular fibrillation. It's extremely rare. Um, it is a, a recognized cause of sudden death in athletes. Mm -hmm. As we know, most of these episodes occur during sports, yes. be it recreational or competitive. But I want to emphasize that it is rare in general. Um, it's key to understand that there's several critical factors that have to happen for this to occur. The timing of when it occurs, I mentioned that vulnerable period. Yes. The, the hard object has to be hard enough. It has to be directly over the chest wall. And so all these things really have to line up to precipitate that cardiac arrest. And you mentioned rare. You told me um, off air that it was less than 200 occurrences uh, each year since tracking began. Um, that likely, as we say, nothing determined yet, but likely led to sudden cardiac arrest. What's the difference between that and a heart attack? That's a great question. It's often used interchangeably, but they're definitely different. Yeah. So um, heart attack is really the sudden um, loss of blood flow to the heart muscle, occurring usually due to a blockage of the artery itself, so the plumbing system. What we're really referring to here is cardiac arrest, which is basically a primary electrical disturbance where the heart basically stops pumping and beating the way it should. Okay. And real quick with the last 15 seconds here, doctor, the importance of the medical staff on the field and how quickly they reacted. Utmost importance. I mean, they were phenomenal. Medical staff is key. They recognized it early. They started early CPR and defibrillation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank the doctor you. will be joining us again in the five and six. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank we you. greatly appreciate that here in the 430. Denise, I'm gonna send it back over to you.